Poll after poll has shown that something like high 40%, 46, 47, 48 percent of people have some measure of special creationist view, that, that God created everything all at one time in its present form. That is, that is just shocking and, and a real indictment against uh, science education. Somehow or another, we are not getting across to students at uh, the appropriate age a, an extremely basic, fundamental concept of science. It's almost as if we, uh, we were teaching them that it didn't matter whether things fell up or fell down and expected them to be scientifically literate, not understanding gravitation. No, we, it, it, it's completely shocking to believe this, but that's what we have here in the United States. We have a big job to do to correct that. I think we need to do a better job in K-12 science education to help students understand both the nature of science as well as more about the science of evolution itself and how the two fit together. And I think uh, in order to do that, we have to do a whole lot better job of teaching evolution at the college level because those college professors are not doing a good enough job teaching evolution. And we know that because the kids that they teach at the college level who then go on to become teachers don't know enough about evolution to properly teach it. So the buck stops with the university professor, in my opinion. Depending on how you ask the question, Anywhere from 40 to 60 percent of Americans will reject the theory of evolution and will embrace some explanation that is consistent with creationism. Uh, my reaction to those statistics is actually pretty simple, and that means that we in the scientific community, professional scientists, researchers, and educators, are doing a terrible job of popularizing science, of taking the case for science to the general public, and we've got to do a much better job. Where are the popularizers of science in the popular media? We need more scientists willing to come out of the field station and come out of the laboratories to communicate effectively to the press, to communicate in public media, and to take their messages into schools. And I hope very much that the American scientific community has begun to realize that, and I see some signs that this is the case. But basically it means that we, in science, have to do a better job of taking our case to the public.